Today, as part of my health supplement series, we're going to be learning about iron and iron supplements. What is iron? Why do we need it? And what happens if we don't have enough? And you may have seen adverts around telling us that if you're tired of being tired, just take an iron supplement. Is that good advice? Let's find out. So what does iron do in the body? Why do we need it? Well, iron's most crucial role in the body is carrying oxygen around through the protein hemoglobin found in red blood cells. It also helps manage our energy and it also helps the immune system in fight infections. So if you don't have enough iron, you can get what's called iron deficiency anemia. And the symptoms of this are linked to the functions. So you can find yourself short of breath, you can find yourself really lethargic, and you can find yourself picking up lots of infections. Other symptoms include heart palpitations, headaches, and an intolerance of cold temperatures. And also because haemoglobin is the bright red part of the blood, if you haven't got enough of that haemoglobin, you can end up looking really pale, which is what we often see with patients who are anemic. So iron exists in two forms. There is heme iron, which is found only from animal de derived products, such as especially red meat, and non-heme iron, which is found in both plant sources and animal derived foods. Now heme iron is much more readily absorbed from the body. So if you are a vegetarian or vegan, this is bad news because you need to make sure you're really increasing the amount of iron that you eat in this non-heme form. And you might need about 80% more than meat eaters. So what happens if we don't have enough iron in the body? Well, apparently nearly 2 billion people around the world are anemic. And this is nearly 30% of the world's population. And the most common type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia. And this is usually caused by one of three things. One, you're not getting enough iron into the body, so you haven't got a good enough diet, for example. Two, you're not absorbing the iron properly, so this might be because you've got a disease like Crohn's or you take an excessive amount of zinc supplementation. And the third thing is you might be losing iron through bleeding. And so for women of childbearing age, this is usually due to heavy periods. And for some people, especially older people, this can be due to bleeding from the stomach or the gut, which can obviously be quite serious. Pregnancy is another risk factor for having low iron. And if iron deficiency anemia goes um, untreated throughout pregnancy, this can cause problems during the pregnancy and after the pregnancy. So it's really important for pregnant women to make sure they're having enough iron and not becoming anemic. Okay, so what can we do to increase our iron? Well, the easiest thing to do is make sure you've got a really healthy, varied diet. Well, I say easy, but I know it's not that easy, but we need to be increasing the amount of iron-rich foods we have in our diet. And this can be found in dark green leafy vegetables, so eat lots of kale, and it can be found in meat, in uh, tofu, in fish, in milk, uh, eggs, and even dried fruit. Um, so there's lots of options to eat this. And actually, if you have vitamin C with your non-heme iron foods, then that increases the iron absorption. So that's really good news. The less good news is that there's also lots of foods that decrease the absorption of non-heme iron. And that's especially bad news for me because it includes tea and coffee. And I drink a lot of tea. Um, and it can also include uh, lentils and whole grains. So just something to be aware of. Antacids and antibiotics can also decrease the absorption of iron supplements. So if you're taking iron supplements, make sure you don't take them at the same time as your antibiotics and antacids. In fact, iron supplements are best taken on an empty stomach. Although that has been found to increase the side effects of iron supplements. Now these side effects are really common and loads of my patients just tell me they've stopped taking the supplements because they were finding the side effects too difficult to manage. That includes constipation, includes tummy ache and feeling sick. And lots of people do get black or dark stools through taking iron supplements, which in, in itself isn't the dangerous bit. One recent study has actually found that taking the iron supplement on alternate days, for example, 200 milligrams of ferrous sulfate every other day, rather than three times every day, increased absorption and reduced the amount of side effects. So I share this information with my patients and let them decide how they want to take it. I imagine guidelines might eventually change, which I think is gonna be a good thing. Really high doses of iron supplements can even be fatal. So do be a bit careful. And also they are dangerous for children. So make sure that you keep your iron supplements out of reach of children. So in conclusion, are those adverts right when they say if you're tired of being tired, just take an iron supplement. Well, I think if you just think you're at risk of low iron, like you're a vegan or you have heavy periods, then think about increasing the iron you have in your diet and maybe take a supplement every other day. 
But if you've already got symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, then rather than just taking a tablet, you need to go and see a GP because there may be an underlying cause of this, such as bleeding from the bowel or the stomach. So it does need investigating and ruling out before you just take iron tablets. So I hope that helps. I hope you've learned a lot. If you're interested in watching the rest of my health supplement series, then click here. There's also lots of other videos on my YouTube channel that I hope you like as well. So thanks for listening. I've enjoyed this. I hope you have, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.